Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey again, and I wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about components. I've been doing a recent project that is fairly large, and I really need a quick and easy way to control some of the items on that page. And just in case a client came to me and saying that they wanted something to change, I want to be able to change it in one place and have it change all over the website. So for instance, if we're using Bootstrap here, we have a Jumbotron, we have an alert, panel and a couple buttons. Uh, let's pick on the buttons here. Let's say I had a cancel button in all of my projects and all of a sudden the client comes to me and says, you know, I don't really like that symbol. I want to use a red X or I want to use an X. Well, instead of me loading up all of my blade files and looking for anywhere where I have this font, font awesome icon, I could just easily change it in one place and it would go through all of my project and the icon would automatically be updated. So to do this, let's actually work on this cancel button. You can see that we just have our regular components. It's a Laravel directory inside of resources views. We have a empty components folder. We have a layout that has just the application. And then we have the welcome file, which is the one we were just looking at. If I scroll down here, you can see that this is the cancel button right here. So of course I could easily just change this to times. And if I bring the site back up, well of course that's going to be a red X. If I undo that and I make a component, what I'll do is I'll make a new folder in my components directory called buttons. Within that folder I'll make a new one and let's just call it cancel.blade.php. Now all I'm going to do is copy this line and I'll paste it in my cancel and let's make it reformat it so it's a little bit easier to work with. Now automatically there's some things I want the user or the programmer in this instance to be able to change. I want them to add an href on where they want to cancel back to. So we could just easily put in an item called href. So we're referring to a variable here and Instead of cancel, we're going to refer to a special variable called slot. And we'll learn more about slot in just a little bit here. Now that we have a component, we can come back to our welcome. And we'll add a new one underneath this cancel here. We'll say component. And now we're going to refer to the file. And this is just going through the views directory. So I'll use components.buttons.cancel. And we have to make sure we end the component with that. Now we have two variables. We have our href and we have our slot. The slot variable will be anything that we pass into the component that we're not specific about. For instance, we're going to be specific about the href variable. So I could say slot href and I could give it some sort of uh, link that we could use here. Now we could use Laravel's routes and we could do something like home. I don't have any named routes so I'm just going to refer to mine as going to laracademy.co and like I said the slot variables anything that we're passing to this component that isn't automatically named. So whatever I write in here is going to be passed in to the slot variable. So if I write cancel this and I click save, I come back and I refresh, you can see that now I have a cancel this button here. You can see at the bottom left, it's actually going to the website as well. So what that means is now we can replace any of our buttons with this component here, and I can have it going to different places, laravel.com, and I could also have it named differently. So we have a cancel, cancel this. And just like before, if our client came to us and said, you know what, I do not like the ban button. I want it to have an X. Well, I could easily come into my component. I could change the icon from ban to times. And now when I refresh my page, you can see that the buttons are propagated through and everything is done. Now that's just one simple way you can use a component. Another good way is with the alerts. 
Now this one kind of comes on the Laravel documentation, but we'll quickly go over it. I'll make a new folder called alerts and I'll just make a new file and let's call this one alert.blade.php. Now in the welcome at the very top here, you can see that we have an alert. So let's copy this code in and we'll paste it in our alert.blade.php. Now what this also allows us to do is we don't have to remember all of this different area items here because this is going to be pulled in by default. What we need to be able to change is the type. So we'll say type and we want to make sure that we don't need to pass in a type by default. So we can say if we don't have a type, then we'll just use the info. All right, so the role is alert. And let's also say, let's make it if we can have a dismissible or not. In this case, we'll use an if statement. We'll say if it's if this variable is not empty, we'll say dismissable. If it's not empty, show the button. Otherwise, we don't want to show anything. Now, the reason we're using empty and not is set because MD is also going to check for is set for us. So this can be true, false, or null. Now, we can do the same for the heading. We can say if not empty heading, and then we want to pass in the heading. And finally, right here, this is where we want to pass in everything else through the slot variable. Now that we have this, we can change our alert into a component. So we can delete that and say component, components.alert.alert, .alert, .alert, alerts .alert, alert, and component. What we can do is we can access the dismissible by using either slot dismissible, or because it's variable, let's pass it in through an array. We'll say dismissible, it's going to be false. And then inside here, we'll have a slot of heading. And in this heading, we'll say alert. And this is where we're going to say everything else. So we'll just say, okay. If we come back and refresh, you can see that we have the heading. We also just have the word okay. And it cannot dismiss this alert. Now, if I come back, I can add a couple different things. I could say it can be dismissed and I can either have the type come up here and I'll say danger. If we check that out or I could have this type become a slot. So I could easily just say slot type and slot and the type is going to be success. One more time, we'll refresh, and you can see that it's working, and I can dismiss that. So the cool part about this is you can take each one of these components, and you can drag them out and write them into a smaller component, and then any time a client comes to you and says, you know what, I want an icon within this alert, I could just come here, and I can add the icon in my component code, and it will automatically propagate through each of my alerts. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.